Hello and welcome back to another episode of Because Adventure. The Jeep is approaching 80,000 miles on the odometer, so it's time to service the differentials. I'm choosing to do this a little bit early because the weather's getting colder and I'd like to get it taken care of before winter sets in. Changing the fluid in your differentials is a pretty basic maintenance task. I referenced a couple of different documents to perform this task. The first being uh, the Jeep owner's manual. This gave me the type of fluid that I need to use and what the service interval was. Then I also uh, referred to my service manual and that actually gave me what the capacity of each differential was. So based on that information, I'm using Valvoline 80W90 gear loop and uh, I also picked up a fresh tube of Permatex uh, RTV sealant. If you like this video and find the information informative, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel. All right, with all that being said, let's get to it. All right, underneath the vehicle, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda clean up around the differential a little bit so I don't get any mud or debris in there while I'm servicing. Using a ratchet with just a basic extension, I'm going to pull the drain plug that's at the bottom of my differential. The drain plugs on the differential have a magnet in the bottom of them. And if there's any metal shavings um, or pieces of your gears, if you're unfortunate enough that you had uh, some mishap, uh, you'll, you might find that there's uh, a goo. Most of the time it's just a goo stuck to the magnet, you know, metal shavings from the gears. And you can see that this, this is the case. I got just a little bit of goo stuck to the drain plug and I clean this up you can see there's a little magnet stuck inside the plug there that attracts those metal filings and shavings uh, so they don't continuously run through the gears and wear the gears all right now that most of the fluid is drained out let's go ahead and pull the cover 13 millimeter socket Okay, leaving two screws in the cover, I'm going to get in here and I'm going to pry on the bottom to break the seal. What I don't want to have happen is break the seal and just have the cover fly off at me. So I'm going to leave a couple of screws, I got them, I got them backed off most of the way and uh, we'll go ahead and break that seal and then uh, we'll let the remaining fluid uh, dribble out of the differential and then we'll pull the cover off completely so that we can inspect the inside. So using the pry tool, I'm going to break the seal. Okay. All right.
All right, let's let's take a closer look. Let's see what we all got inside of here. All right. We got the ring gear just mounted to the carrier. And uh, deep inside there, I can see the pinion. Spider gears. Yep, everything looks to be really clean. And in great condition. So uh, all in all, everything looks uh, really good in here. So uh, there's not going to be much to do. I'm going to clean this out. I'm going to wipe out a little bit of the oil that's left in here with uh, some paper towels and stuff. And then uh, I'm going to clean up the ceiling surface on the differential and clean up the cover and uh, apply some new uh, sealant and uh, put it back on and put the drain plug back in, refill it. Now that the differential is all cleaned up, it's time to clean up the cover. We want to scrape all the goo off of it, wipe out the inside, probably wipe out the wipe off the outside a little bit better. Uh, and then I'm going to take my RTV and I'm going to run a bead around the flange and prepare it to uh, get remounted on the differential. Okay, we'll clean that up and not to get these two plugs confused the one that goes by the the actual drain hole there's the magnet in there that I had mentioned and then the one that goes in the fill hole does not have a magnet you want the one with the magnet at the bottom of the differential so as fluid runs past it it can pick up those little metal shavings or metal fines uh, as they are created so they don't keep recirculating through the gears. Now this can be always a little bit fun because you got to work this cover past your track bar without messing up all the stuff that's on there. I'm going to stick my finger in the fill hole. That'll help me keep a grip on the cover so that I can get it wiggled and positioned into the right spot and then I can get a couple of bolts started in it. Then I'm just going to insert all the bolts and I'm just going to tighten them up finger tight. 
And once that's complete, then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna torque them all to 30 foot-pounds. My apologies, I forgot to turn on the camera when I refilled the differential with gear loop. Uh, you didn't miss much. I simply reinstalled the drain plug into the bottom of the differential. On that drain plug, I put just a thin layer of the sealant that I'm using into the threads. Put about uh, a little bit over two quarts of gear lube through the fill hole until the lubricant started to drain out the fill hole. And I've given it a little bit of time to let whatever fluid uh, that wants to come out of the differential at this point come out. I'm gonna reinsert the fill plug and wipe everything up. And this side will be, the back differential will be done and we'll start working on the front. Okay, working on the front differential is gonna be very similar to what we did in the back. All the steps are gonna be pretty much the same. Okay, let's finish this up. Uh, I let the RTV set up for about an hour or so. And uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and start filling. Again, um, we're gonna fill this up until we get gear lube coming back out of the fill hole. That's how we know that it's full. It's probably gonna take a little bit over a quart for the front, this is a Dana 30, if I, have, I guess I hadn't mentioned that before. But Dana 30 in the front takes a little over a quart. Uh, the Dana 44 in the rear on my Jeep uh, took a little bit over two quarts. This is always a, a tricky one. There we go. Let's try to work a little smarter this time. Let's see if we can't get this into position first. And then we'll pull it. There we go. And there we are. We're full. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to call this job complete. With that being said, if you liked this video and found it informative, please give it a thumbs up, and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications or whatever it is that you do with that, and I hope to see you guys next time out on the trail.